Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to take a minute and give you a quick update. As most of you are aware, yesterday, Texas Governor Abbott made a declaration stating that um, lots of things could open beginning Friday, May the 1st, including churches this weekend. We've given it a lot of thought and a lot of prayer, but what should we do at Christian Center? And with the declaration to open churches, there are some restrictions and guidelines. And we have prayerfully thought about this and talked about it. We do not feel like the guidelines are conducive to the way we do church. And so we have made the decision to go ahead and stay church online for the next couple of weeks. We want you to come back to church when it's safe and when Christian Center can fill that Christian Center. Now maybe you're thinking, well, why are you doing this? Well, let me explain some of those guidelines and maybe you'll understand. Part of the guidelines that were issued for churches is we can only use about 25% of our, of our worship center. And so when you arrive at church Sunday, you would have to come straight in the building, no stopping in the foyer, no greeting anybody, no handshakes, no hugs. You'd have to be seated, and we'd have to seat everybody on every other row. And on the row you're on, you have to leave at least two seats between you and another family. And then at the end of service, we would have to dismiss you one row at a time, and you would have to leave the building immediately, no stopping in the foyer, no handshakes, no hugs, and you'd have to go on your way. We also would not have kids ministry. We would not have nursery. And so there are a lot of factors involved in this. Um, in addition to some of the health concerns, like we're being encouraged, if we have service, to take the temperature of everybody coming in. We're being encouraged to ask those who have health issues or who are over a certain age to stay home. Well, we want to be able to open Christian Center and for it to be open and safe for everyone of all ages. And so we just feel like we're going to stay online until we can have church where our kids are welcome and our senior adults are welcome and everybody's welcome and it's safe and we can, we can maybe get a little closer. So for a little while longer, we're going to stay online. Now listen, thank you for all you've been doing. Your faithfulness is so amazing. To date, all the bills are paid, all the staff is paid, all our missions commitments are met. Thank you so much for your faithfulness and giving. God is our provider and he's using you to provide and we thank you for all that you've done and we want to encourage you to keep doing that. Thank you so much to everybody who's come alongside us with Feeding Crumb Kids. Every week we're feeding between 130 and 150 kids, and that's going to continue as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff happening, and we're, we're so, I'm so excited to get back into my office next week. The stay-at-home order gets released Thursday, and man, I tell you what, Friday I'm planning to be in the office and get things set up in my office and get back to work. But we're going to stay online on church for a little while longer. So we love you. We can't wait to see you, and please don't misunderstand. There's nobody wants to have church more than me. I'm so excited to get us all back together, but I want to do it in a safe way, and I've been asking the Lord just to give me wisdom. And uh, I don't care what other churches are doing. I've been praying and talking to the Lord about our church, and so this is what I feel He's allowed us to do. And I've talked to the board and the staff, and we're all in agreement. So we'll see you online this weekend, and we'll be back together very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay inside, stay faithful, stay healthy. We love you guys. See you soon.